So there are currently 370,000 children and families enrolled in early intervention for speech and language services. But in a 2017 survey, 60% of providers stated that they did not feel like they had any adequate training or specific coursework in working with families and children birth to three. So a primary component to early intervention in speech language pathology is coaching. So what is coaching? Well, coaching is anything you can relate to when you learn a new sport or you learn a new instrument. Coaching in early intervention is when a provider works with a parent to teach their child and parent communication skills. The parents spend the most time with their child, so teaching them these skills to use in their daily routines is extremely important at this early age. But providers don't feel like they actually know how to coach and they have no confidence coaching these young families. So I decided to see if a web-based model could be used to instill confidence in these providers and create better behaviors in coaching with these families. So I had graduate students in the Idaho State Speech Language Pathology Program complete a web-based training on four basic coaching strategies and I assessed their confidence at four different intervals and I also had them complete two mock therapy sessions to see if their behaviors improved. So what I found was that after training, there was a significant difference in their behaviors. But when I assessed the two mock therapy sessions, there really wasn't a difference, which goes to show that training had a huge impact, whereas experience on its own really didn't. So approximately one hour of web-based training improved provider confidence. So ultimately, interactive online web trainings can improve and create significant opportunities for providers instead of having them learn solely off of experience once they leave graduate school. And while this is important for the field of speech-language pathology, I believe it can really extend to other programs and other professions in the graduate phase, rather than expecting students to learn based off of that experience in the future.